door, get to the door, get to the door, get to the door. Close it, seal it, seal it. Hello everyone, welcome to week two of Camp NaNoWriMo. It's the seventh today, which is not really like week two. Week two would start on the eighth, but um, because I started early, I figured I would do, do it this way where I post on Wednesdays. And that also works out because week two here, this vlog can be a full vlog without any traveling bits because next week for week three I'll be traveling so I posted my week one video today that went live a couple hours ago and from the clips you might have seen I was doing some sprints for the first few I didn't really do well because I was watching something at the same time the fact that words managed to get written is still like pretty good but um it could have been a lot better if I wasn't distracted so for the final sprint i did so far i managed to get a pretty good word count clearly i feel like that's a good sign that i should start uh not watching tv while doing sprints what it currently looks like desperate to catch up this week because i fell behind quite a bit last week so i decided i would do just i would just do some sprints i would do 20 sprints which is like almost five hours worth of sprints which i can do because it's scattered it's like, I did an hour of writing today and it doesn't even feel like that because they were split up into 15 minute intervals so that it kind of like tricked me into thinking I didn't really do that much when in reality I wrote already like 1300 words. I still have a lot more sprints I want to do and this sprint that I've got now was 5 minutes because what I did was I did like hours. I did an hour of 15 minutes and then a 5 minute one just to get like a quick writing sprint in because sometimes i can do really well in five minutes so i figured i would do like some long ish not long but good time sprints and then some really fast ones and we are on chapter 20 so progress is coming along surely i'm definitely going to hit like 59k today the plan is to hit 60k if I can hit 60k, that will be a good start to trying to catch up. Like, I haven't even written my words for today yet, let alone any extra words to catch up. Today we are supposed to be at 11k words. I haven't updated it yet with the current numbers I've got, but I'm around 8,500. So, like, I could, I could definitely catch up to nano words today, I feel like. Working on one project, which is what I've been doing for the past nine days already it's starting to wear down like i keep i like working on this but then at the back of my mind i'm like what if i work on tlp what if i work on e -S? what if i work on my hfp trilogy which i'm outlining to get ready for drafting as soon as this project is done that's the next trilogy i'm moving to the other projects are still in the back of my mind i like the fact i'm only working on one project because it's meaning that you know i can make a ton of progress like i have written more than I've ever written in a week just this week of writing even though not all the days reflect that I've written quite a lot for a project so it is working working on only one I did a good thing by ensuring that this is my only project for the month but also I kind of want to work on the others so I definitely will be doing the sprints I will be catching up this week 100% and hopefully going over a little bit but that's aspirational like we have to catch up first then we can talk about the goals i think probably if i manage to reach my goal for NaNoWriMo which is 11,300 today then definitely today i will stop at 11,300 i won't move on i'll leave it there and i'll work on my hfp trilogy which i don't know if i'll include in this because it's not really kept NaNoWriMo but that is my next trilogy this trilogy will be getting a break before I start working on it again. So as soon as the third book is done, every book gets a break. It doesn't matter if I haven't worked on the first book in ages, everything will be getting a break. So that will be my next trilogy and I'm kind of hoping to fast draft that, but I've got my outline here, which is really, really helping. I'm managing to get tons written because I know exactly what I want, even when it's kind of weirdly worded that I can't really tell sometimes what it says. Today I started chapter 20 and already chapter 20 has almost a thousand words. So that's pretty good. This chapter is probably gonna be longer than I pictured it to be, but that's like a lot of chapters. You can tell where I've outlined because they're a lot longer than I thought they would be because I've got more content to put in. I'm going to see how much I can get written in five minutes. My goal for five minutes, which I put goals there just to like 
encourage me is 150. I don't remember how much I can actually do in five minutes, but 150 sounds possible. So it's sprinting time. And yes, I'm doing the sprints on my bed, but it's working, so it's fine. I'm back to get a drink and a reward for if I reach the 150 words. It's a very doable goal. So hopefully this is a very easily attainable prize. So I just did like a bunch of writing sprints. Um, I've just been writing for the past like 10 minutes without sprinting just because I wanted to finish the chapter because I finished the chapter. When I stopped sprinting, I had been, I finished at a bit where I ended the scene, but I was like, this one character becomes kind of important in another chapter. So I'm just going to build them up to become a bigger character so it kind of like hints that she's gonna become bigger so i added in that quick scene and now the chapter is done not only did i finish chapter 19 today but now i finished chapter 20 and i'm at fifty-nine thousand six hundred and sixty-two words i'm pretty excited for what chapter 21 has with switching povs and it's a big big thing for the plot i'm just realizing now that because i'm at chapter 21 i've only got 21 22 and 23 outlined I'm going to try to catch up with my nano goal today and then do outlining for both trilogies. So for this book and then the HFP trilogy that I really want to outline. And I also um, started adding some songs to my playlist for this book just because I was on TikTok. And this one song came across that I thought literally fits the book. I didn't even think it would fit the book, but then I listened to the lyrics and I was like, if it's the book. So currently our playlist... Oh, my playlist for this book has four songs, but I haven't added all the songs that I know fits with the book. I just, anytime I found a song on TikTok, I put it in the playlist. Anyway, I think I'm going to go back to writing because we're getting close to the word count that I need to be at today. All caught up. So now we're switching to outlining and tomorrow I will continue doing my best to catch up to what I'm supposed to be at, which is almost 15k. But for now, I'm happy we caught up. So I'm currently in the car because I just finished doing this like race thing, which I've changed since. But it has since been done. Here is a picture when I finished it. I'm in the car park of a shop while I wait for my friends to get their things. And I'll talk more when I get home because I feel awkward talking in a car park. I haven't written anything today and it is almost four o'clock. So by the time I get back, it should be like six. So hopefully I can still do my nano goal. But I just quickly came in to explain because I have been very busy today doing non-writing related things. So today is Sunday, I believe. The clip that I showed you guys from yesterday was from Saturday. And basically Saturday, I did do some writing. I hit my nano goal. Writing wise, it's going super, super well, but it's just like the filming parts are not. Even now as I'm filming this clip, I'm not going to write yet. My room, kind of requiring some TLC so I'm going to clean my room sometime later now we're gonna write I have my computer and I was thinking about the scene a little bit more and something clicked something came into my head and now I need to write it and I'm so excited to write this bit because I was writing last night when I was like super tired and I had an idea and I just thought of something today that connects it. I'm gonna turn the TV on and do some sprints with the TV. Got my glasses ready and just ready to do the scene. So it is now super late, which explains the bad lighting, but I just finished writing for the day. Even though I had a pretty late start to the writing, to say the least, I managed to write 2,000 words. I didn't really end up sprinting that long. I did a few sprints. I got less than a thousand words from all the sprints I did because I was watching TV. And though sometimes I can get quite good words when watching TV, I've started practicing that skill. Sometimes I can't. And today's one of those days. And oh my gosh, 
this light. I have moved. Hopefully it's a little better. There was a mix up in the chapters. I what I do is I copy and paste like my chapter numbers whenever I start a new chapter and just like change the number but I forgot to do that for one of the chapters it was chapter 21 that I forgot to do it so I thought that I reached chapter 22 today which spoiler alert I started a new chapter I already have to outline the next few chapters and I'm thinking of doing the same with that how I outlined five chapters so there I outlined 18 to 23 so I might do 24 to 29 and that way five chapters I can work on them and I realized also another thing because I only outlined five chapters I managed to stick to them pretty well like all five chapters that I outlined have been pretty much stuck to I did add a few bits of pieces here and there that I thought would do well in those chapters but other than that I stuck to them pretty well so I'm probably going to do some outlining tomorrow. That will probably mean that tomorrow is going to be like a pretty long writing day because not only do I have to write my words, but I also have to get those chapters outlined. And I would get them done now if it wasn't for the fact that I'm already super tired. You know, I spent the last like four hours writing and watching, but writing as well. And actually, for the past hour I think I've just been writing on my phone I kind of let my computer have a break because sometimes I can write quick on my phone and I did actually manage to write quick on my phone I hit 66,000 words so if somehow it's possible I could hit 70k tomorrow which I think is crazy considering since NaNoWriMo began I hit the 50k mark because I had to catch up on those words I cut out I hit the 60k mark and now I might hit the 70k mark. Obviously considering I want to finish this book it's pretty much a given that I'm going to hit these big milestones but the fact that it's a 70k means this book is coming to an end and I'm actually in the middle of act two. I'm right in the middle of the fun and games. Soon I will be at the midpoint. We are slowly but surely approaching the midpoint. I know today has been more like chatty instead of actually showing you, but honestly, the majority of the time it was just me writing and watching TV and then it was on my phone. So really not that entertaining. But the words have been written. Chapter 23, I've switched POVs to someone we haven't heard from in a long time. So I'm happy to be in their POV again. But what's happening to them is not the greatest. But it is setting up this character's big plot point that happens in Act 3 that I'm kind of scared to go into. It's necessary that it's happening. It's foreshadowing what's happening as well as calling back to the first book. So it's a very important chapter. But it is reminding me of what happens to them in Act 3 and it kind of makes me sad. I'm going to let this story sit now. I was kind of looking forward to outlining my HFP trilogy today because I kind of wanted to do that today as well. But it's pretty late. I'm probably going to go to sleep after this. And I just wrote 2,000 words. So I don't really think I'm going to do any more. I don't think I've got the brain power to do any more. I'll see you tomorrow with hopefully a more entertaining day than this one. back from Waterstones and bought some books. I'm also in the process of redoing all the bookshelves for my bedroom. The books I picked up are A Curse so, so Dark and Lonely, You've Reached Sam, Reminders of Him, and then we have Shatter Me, which I really wanted to read. I'm currently in the garden, as you can tell, about to do some writing, but I figured I should probably put this vlog to an end, so that's what I'm doing. So, as you can tell, I didn't record weeks three and four, mostly because when I got down to my parents, I didn't really film anything apart from that one clip that I showed you of me organising the bookshelf, or starting to. I never showed you, like, the finished results but I'll insert pictures if I find them. I think I took pictures, I don't remember if I kept them but in case I did, there they are. And right now I'm about to do some writing as you can tell. I did not reach my nano goal which is a shame but 
I'm going to continue working through, through this book throughout this month. Hopefully getting it done this month. I am going to put some stricter deadlines on myself. Especially because I am not really doing anything big in August. So I don't mind spending that time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And this kind of feels like a weird outro bit because I didn't really film anything. And then all of a sudden we're jumping to like the end of July. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully more structured. And I remember to film. But anyway, bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, gosh.